Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today I'm playing the Locust. I'm playing the Locust in the Large Pulse Laser Loadout here. And yeah, no, I have done that already, but now it's time to get a bit deeper into the build. And uh, yeah, I have two games for you today for the daily dose. And uh, yeah, I'm just having some Locust fun. So, the build is all built around the Locust 1V. And as you can see, one large pulse laser in the center. Why one? Because uh, this here. Energy range plus 10, energy cooldown plus 50. You just take one large pulse laser and basically have two. That's it. Uh, also, that's the only thing that uh, is uh, fitting in here, except for maybe medium laser, small laser. Yeah, large laser could be viable. But again, I want to deal uh, some uh, very nice harassment pinpoint damage here. The range of the pulse laser is pretty decent. You have a lot of speed in that Locust here. XL190 it is. That one makes it uh, run 165.4 kph. That is amazing. So you have that fast moving, low armor, heavy hitting thing. <laughs> yeah, Locust is really cool to play. It's a lot of fun. The modules are advanced seismic sensor, uh, because I need to know what's going on around me. I have radar deprivation, of course, to avoid missiles, because missiles hurt a locust. And uh, got a large pulse laser cooldown and large pulse laser range module. The consumables are an improved UAV and an artillery strike here, because the heat management of that is good. It's just two. It's, it's fine. Uh, on hotter maps you will rack up uh, some heat, on colder maps you won't rack up any heat. Uh, it's, it's good and balanced, I would say. I had to strip down the arms a bit, but uh, you don't need them. So you could go for um, a large laser loadout and then you could put machine guns into this one here, but why? Uh, there's no point really at the moment. Having one large pulse laser is just enough on that amazing cooldown. It deals 11 damage over and over again and that is what you are going to do. And that's the build. I hope you will enjoy the two games that are coming and uh, yeah, if you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. So, here we are on Tourmaline Desert, we are playing Assault and we will assault the enemy with our Locust here. <laughs> so, this is a very fast mech and I hope you won't get sick when I'm running here and twisting like hell. Also, I ran in that Cicada, but Cicadas suck, except I'm playing them. <laughs> no, really, I have, I have the habit of shooting Cicadas and damaging them when they are on my side. I don't know why, it's just, it's just Cicada things, I guess. So I'm gonna squash those bugs. Uh, anyway, we're going to the right flank here. We're going to Echo 7. Hopefully getting some uh, scouting for my team. It will probably be a NASCAR-ish in this uh, situation here. Uh, we want to get into uh, the backs of the enemy. Uh, Delta 6 is a good spot to push into, but we want to do that from probably Delta 7. Uh, so let's have a look what's going on here. Anybody there? Yeah, they, they are already. Also, you won't hit me because I'm in a Locust, I'm too fast. And you are an Urban Mech with medium pulse lasers. And you don't do shit against me with your pulses. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, it's a kind of a range situation here. My large lasers or large pulse lasers have a longer range than his medium pulse lasers. I win this match up from this distance, no matter what he tries to do. Uh, except he, he would get close, but that's another story. Oh, that was a bit all over the place. Uh, medium pulse lasers from clan side are a bit difficult though. They are longer or they have a longer range. And uh, I'm kind of hot. So good, we harassed the enemy a bit. Our assault mechs have arrived. I'm going to backstep them right now. Maybe I can make something happen from... Oh, no, ma never mind. From here. Uh, there's a guy coming from Delta 6. Can we harass him? Can we kill him maybe with some light mechs? Heavy metal? Alright, let's go. I'm gonna drop my Audi strike. I'm going to drop an artillery strike. Be careful. Oh, and I messed up my movement. Alright, but it's fine. Oh, that Viper is not fine though. I'm gonna take him down really quick. Because he is dangerous. And he needs to be off the battlefield right now. Can we get him? Yeah, good. Now it's time to get out again. And I'm shredding! Yeah! Shredding. Uh, mm, what was that? It's a stalker. He is being harassed by one of our Vipers. I'm just staying here. Just to play it safe, actually. And I hope that my Viper now has enough time to kill him from behind. 
So this is what you do, you harass the enemy, you get out, you get in, you try to be nimble, don't get caught, just don't get caught in a locust. All you need to do is stay alive. Okay, he's going for me, let's, let's get out of here. Going to go to cover for a second, remove myself from the enemy's radar, and there's the stalker. Okay, he's open in the back, but he has so much armor actually, so it's a bit of a difficulty to actually kill him with only one large pulse laser but we got him good that's another stalker and we will get him as well uh, except we are overheating <laughs> all right so eight and two it's looking pretty fine i'm just going in for a brawl with some light mechs we've got an urban mech we've got that viper there okay herbie how are you doing man i'm sorry i have to kill you yeah <laughs> it's always everybody is is so sad for the urban mech this is so good. Yeah, I like that. It's every, every time anybody shoots an urban mech, it's like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I know you want just want to have some fun on the battlefield with your little urban mech, uh, but sorry, I have to kill you. <laughs> uh, man, I like that about the community. Everybody's so nice, and everybody can understand the love yeah. for the urban mech. Uh, also, I got a lot of fall damage here. You should avoid that. But it's not, it's not a big deal at the moment. Because we are also so much into the game, we have a lot of kills and we're just, yeah, watching for another one for the last enemy. Just need to find him, there he is. It's a mauler with two AC20, that's a cheeky build, very cheeky. Uh, he will be dead though. Will he? Yeah, there's somebody in his back. Already lost a component. Looks like he's moving now. Uh, yeah, maybe he's just late for the fight, was disconnected or something like that. And the, the clown warlord got the supply cache. That was fun, that was a really fun round here. Um, again, be nimble, try to avoid the enemy fire and try to put out some fire by yourself and uh, try to distract the enemy, that's what the Locust is good. Uh, yeah, got two killing blows, seven assists, got <laughs> one kill most damage, wow, in a Locust. Four components destroyed and 327. Uh, not too crazy the score, but uh, we are in, a, in the lightest mech in the game, so it's, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, that was the first round of the Locust play, we're going over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game. This time we are playing Domination on the Tourmaline Desert. And we are still in the Locust, going to capture the zone in the middle, of course, because we can. Also, there is movement from the left coming in. Always is when you're playing Domination. Uh, so you can get off some early shots if you are really cocky. And I am. I am totally... There he is. Yeah, right. And like a cheetah. Uh, don't want to put up the direct fight with him. He has a lot of small range stuff, probably. Has a big Alpha Strike, more firepower. So I'm going to avoid him. Mainly, yeah, just some larges to the face, man. I don't want to put up with a small laser or small pulse laser shenanigans. Also, can I shoot through there? Yeah, I can. Also, I shouldn't stand still. And I should avoid missiles. Oh yeah, that's the thing I should do. And uh, therefore, I'm just going with the team. Is the guy still behind me? Oh, and I'm a bit, a bit lagging. All right. So don't run through missile streams, of course, because uh, they hurt. Definitely. So it's just, yeah, random missiles, but they can still do damage. And uh, I don't want to get hit by those. So I'm, instead I'm going over to my old spot here. Echo 6 is a good spot to be as a Locust. You can just pop in and out and uh, don't run it in a straight line. Gonna move back and forth a bit just to, yeah, change my movement pattern. Uh, because at some point someone can anticipate your movement and then you're dead. And I don't want to be dead because I just want to play here. Oh crap. Also when peeking, make sure that you get out of um, different spots. Okay. A lot of return fire coming in. And I am going to run uh, to that spot. The good thing about the Locust, that it's totally crazy, you can you can um, watch behind yourself when, when you're running. So you can basically turn around and still shoot. That's cool. That's super cool. Also, I want that Kodiak dead. I got his component, one arm, and it's uh, not a big deal. So let's just focus on his center. And I'm hot. All right, just in time. Now I'm getting back, cooling down a bit. Uh, actually, what? You know what? I'm just going in again. I'm not afraid of that Kodiak because we are going in as a team right now. And he could need some beating, I think. 
Also that shot to the right torso was unfortunate. Right, uh, they totally drove me out of my position. Where is that guy? Ah, there he is. Also that cheater on the left. Yeah, I'm just going to run through. Going to make them use some, some of their weapons to, to rack up some heat. And the other way around. You could push, I'm distracting them. AC2's PPCs, interesting build. And there's our Kodiak friend again. Look at his center torso. There we go. Good. Now it's time to get behind them, probably. I still am a bit afraid of the cheetah. That should be around here somewhere. Oh, and I'm totally using that airstrike or artillery strike. And there's too much. There's something in my back. I'm gonna get out. Okay. But the good thing is that I turned the faces around. Guys, let's push. They're too much clumped up. They can't fight at this position. Let's go. New target acquired. Okay, maybe I should do a scribble push. But... Uh, I will only do that if my team is ready. Alright. So let's uh, take it slow for a while. I can't do anything without my team. I can try to get into their flanks rest a bit. But uh, apart from that, there's no point going in. I mean, in and like deep in. Uh, PPC scores. No. Thank you. If that hits once, then I'm dead. So again, going for the flanking attempt here. Gonna be sneaky. And as long as he's not focusing me, I'm just going to destroy his center torso. I want that Marauder. Give me that Marauder. Problem is that he's so tanky. He has great hitboxes, of course. I'm just shooting his side torso. But I will just stay on target here. Just because I want him dead. Wolverine. Okay, it's getting tight here. I'm getting out. Let's run, run, run. Gonna shoot from another angle. Maybe from here. Oh, not really. What's that guy behind me? Ah, Viper. Hello. I don't like you. That's okay. And then my cataphract buddy can just deal with you. Oh, I'm just doing it by myself. No, oh, never mind. You overheated. And the right torso, a uh, left torso here. Good! So always keep track of the enemy damage grid. I saw that his left torso was open and I just went for it. And I need to get out, cool down a bit and then get back in. Because the timber wolf is scary. Mm, now let's choose another target. He is too fresh. Uh, actually, never mind. He is probably dead. Yeah, we've got a lot of backup here. Ooh, no, no. I'd rather not get hit by that. Uh, yep, you're gonna waste all of your stuff, that's good. Just shoot me, and then my huntsman can just bring you down here. Uh, I just wanna, come on. I want to help here. Oh, I'm, I'm screwed. I'm so screwed, that hit. Come on, come on! I am the last one? No, 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 I still have backup. And I got a kill! Ha! Take that, Timber Wolf! You don't mess with a locust, man! Alright, it was a good game. Very skirmishy. It was, uh, it was good. Yeah, I had fun in that. And we totally did it! Two killing blows, seven assists, uh, 581 damage. That's huge in a locust here. Uh, got six components destroyed. I like that game. That was good. That was the locust with the large pulse laser loadout. You should really try that once. It is so fun to play. You just zip around the battlefield and shoot the enemy. Yeah, that was your daily dose for today. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to leave a rating if you did. And if you want more of this, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support me doing what I'm doing here, go down below to the description. There is a link to my Patreon page. There you can support me with a bit of money. And I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.